a Bedouin came and he said, Ya Rasulullah, Allah has mentioned a tree in paradise that drives us crazy. And I don't think that there is a tree that causes more harm to people than this tree. And Rasulullah said, what tree are you talking about? He said, the Sidr, this low tree, it drives us crazy here. It has all sorts of thorns. And the Prophet said, well, doesn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say Sidrin Makhbul, a thornless low tree? The Arabs had never seen that before. And what it is, is that the Prophet said, Allah has removed all- Hello guys, welcome back to my vlogs. I haven't picked up my camera in like two days and it feels so weird. I just really needed a break. It is now the weekend and I have so much planned for this weekend, so I'm really excited. So I'm getting ready to head out to a family iftar tonight. My cousin, Sara, invited us over, um, well, invited us out for iftar, so I'm getting ready to go there. And then uh, tomorrow, my friend Anam invited us out for iftar, so that is exciting. And then, what else? Oh, and then I'm going out to iftar with two of my friends that I haven't seen since Umrah, so I'm so excited to see them as well. So it's just going to be a fun weekend. There's also, like, some Siri nights going on. I don't know if this is like common in other towns, but here in Houston, I know it exists in Dallas, I think. Or like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But here in Houston, we have like these nights where like a bunch of local um, restaurants collab, like coffee shops or restaurants and stuff, and they host like this event for Sahur from like 12 to 4 a.m. And it gets so packed and so many people show up and it's like so fun. I normally honestly never go to these events only because like I don't really eat what they're going to provide. And then it just gets so busy that like you end up just like socializing and standing in line the entire time. But since it's the weekend and I had a rough week, I'm like convincing myself that any outing and any break that I can get is a good one. So... That is going to be my weekend. I'm actually running really, really late, so I'm gonna quickly get dressed. I think I'm gonna just keep it really simple. That is one of the good things about Ramadan. Like, you can literally wear an abaya the entire time and like nobody will judge you. So I think I'm gonna keep an abaya on and run to the restaurant and then I'm gonna head to Tarawi afterwards and then I'll see you guys a little bit later and if not, then I'll see y'all tomorrow. Ramadan day eight. Yeah, eight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Asma, you wanna say hi to my vlog? Yeah. You say you wanna say hi? Oh! Hi! Oh, wait, I want to see my gap in my tooth. Look, he's getting a gap in his tooth. <laughs> oh, he wants to show that. Look at this one. This is a guest of honor. Thank you. Hi. Bye, Happy buddy. Happy Ramadan. Love you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get moving, ladies. Let's go. Now you're okay? Took a while? Looking? Right yeah, you're right, right within reach, that's why. Oh, why are you keep so your hands? Thank you so much, Okay. Watch your hands your hands yourself. Yeah. 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 Can you help? Good morning, guys. Obviously, not the same day. It's early, early in the morning. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I love the mornings where I can get a head start. I don't stay awake after Suhoor or Fajr every single day, but I'm telling you guys, the days that I stay awake, it is so much more productive. Highly recommend you guys try it out. So today I have a really exciting day. <laughs> I'm going out to Iftar with my friends again. So I'm trying on a couple outfits. This outfit, Abaya set, is so cute. I don't think the camera is going to pick up like the details and the justice, but it's a it's a tie waist slip underneath with a coat on top. I'm actually gonna try to go to my other mirror and see if it's any better by the way our cleaning ladies came and they totally picked up my little prayer area rug set and they like put it away i found my rugs folded up and put there and then those two little decoration pieces were like set up on my vanity <laughs> i don't think they understood what was happening they also took my pillows and put them back up on my bed they're probably like what in the world is this girl doing but anyways i need to set up my corner back up again okay i don't think this is any better let me see if i can bump up the brightness I'm still learning to use this camera. I have no idea. If I'm being completely honest, I actually don't like it. So yeah, anyways, okay. So it's like this tie waist thing and a coat on top. It's so pretty, very elegant. I'll actually just post some pictures here on the screen so you guys get an idea of what it looks like on. But with that being said, I also got in a few more abayas. Look how pretty this setup is. I love the way my abayas are like all color coordinated. They're so cute. This is actually the same thing I'm wearing right now, but just in a different color. 
this might look better on camera. So basically it's a slip inside, it's a sleeveless and it has like this tie waist thing and then over top is an Abaya coat. Isn't that so pretty? I see these Abaya sets like all over Instagram right now. This is also a new one. I got a white Abaya set. I'm being honest, I don't know if white is my color. I just feel like it makes me look so tan, which I don't mind being tan, but I feel like it just makes me like look really, really off. So yeah. Since I've been back from Umrah, I've been trying to be a little bit more modest with my hijab style. So I'm trying to avoid this hijab style in particular because I feel like it usually shows a little bit of my neck. So I'm trying to change my hijab style to wear a little bit more fitted. You guys have probably seen the hijab style, but it, I feel like it looks a little bit sloppy. I'll put a picture of what hijab style I'm talking about. It's basically the one where I just kind of wrap it and um, it's kind of like falling right here. I actually set this down here. Okay. So I'm going to actually show you guys what hijab style I'm talking about. This right now I feel like looks good because you can't see any of my neck. Yeah, and it's just like sitting really, really well. But this is usually not the case because with this style, since it's supposed to be a little bit more flowy and effortless, it does like start slipping and like this will fall down and like throughout the day, like my neck will start showing. So to avoid that, this is the style I've been doing. Okay, I'm going to try to do this without like showing my neck. I'm going to angle this way so you can't see my neck. But basically I place my hijab on my head with one long side and one short side and then I fold it and frame my face and the long side I bring up over my head then I just like allow it to drape this way and then I grab a pin and I pin it here and then I just adjust the hijab so it looks a little bit decent. I don't always pin it but if I pin it I feel like it looks a little bit more proper and clean and then this is the hijab style. It gives me extra coverage here as well and then sometimes I'll take this piece and throw it in the back if I want it a little bit more like sleek and then this is what it ends up looking like. I don't hate this style. I don't love it. I prefer the other one but it's just it's something I'm going through right now and I'm trying to be a little bit more modest with my hijab. So yeah. I don't usually like to mention these type of things out loud because it is very personal. It's a journey that I'm on and I'm like trying to navigate exactly where and how comfortable I am with making changes with my modest appearance. But I was hoping maybe that could inspire one of you guys because I feel like this is the month to make changes and um, yeah, like I'm, I'm really trying to improve. And if you're struggling, then hopefully this helps you. So yeah, this is the head up style. I'll show you guys. The lighting is just going all sorts of crazy, but this is what it looks like. I honestly started doing this hijab style when I went to Umrah, and that's why like I have such an attachment to it because that's that Umrah was like the spark of my spiritual growth, like journey type of thing and I feel like when I was really simple and modest with my approach I was living a very happy life and I want that feeling forever so that's the look okay anyways <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs help my mom and make iftar and I'll see you guys at my iftar party what did she do? a little bit loud because we're right next to the little playground but we came to pray area to pray we're at La Pasha these are the vibes it's popping tonight <clears throat> it's a Friday night so it's definitely popping but we're gonna pay here real quick hi <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you guys like La Pasha? Yeah, it's so good. Wow, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs>
Allah 